By the way, uh, just stand up for the TV camera if you could. And, and oh, show, sure, Bill. What color are Jim Brock's pants? That's a very good question. What uh, color is that? I, I, I would say pink. Uh, to me, that's pink. I, I was going to say peach. Salmon. 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 Gonna, it's salmon. It's I like actually that. Nantucket red, Bill. Nantucket red. Nantucket red. There okay. you go. Question for tomorrow. In, in New England. I should have, <laughs> yes. uh, I should have known that. You know, Bill, when the alarm goes off at 6 a.m., I know that mornings are better with Bill. Yes, that's (laughs) awesome. There we go. (laughs) Just like Groundhog Day. Jim, you're going to make another promo. (laughs) (laughs) That We'll call that promo Nantucket Red. Yes. (laughs) All right. In studio is Jim Brock and Brett Truitt, Uh, the two really uh, two guys that are – most influential when it comes to no hospital downtown. You're all in. And a lot has happened over the last couple of days, and it seems like we've reached a, 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 a cross in the road here. Um, downtown parking garage or no hospital. Downtown or nowhere. They're saying what a shame. The, the whole deal dies. Well, you know, we've, we've heard that from uh, uh, Steve DeMeo, and uh, we've heard that now, I guess, from the county executive uh, that uh, – no, no parking garage, no hospital. So, uh, if anybody would like to uh, pipe in, three one five seven three six zero one eight six is the phone number. Coming up at eight o'clock, uh, Bob Schofield from MVHS and Steve DeMeo both will be um, in studio, and we'll get their view. And we're going to try to take yours and theirs at the end of the day and put the two together. So, um, are you uh, comfortable with no hospital? Period, Bill. We're very interested in improving health care in the Mohawk Valley. Our group has never been about better health care. The problem with the downtown location is it's never been about health care. It never has from day one. It's been about infrastructure and fixing and now, problems yeah. that should be addressed. And I, and I think this is exactly what I said to the start of the program today because we had a caller ask the question, what is having a downtown, what is that going to do about making it any, us any healthier, the systems work any better, and, and absolutely nothing. Um, the, the, the fact is they're taking the two, hey, we're going to be building a new hospital. If we put it downtown, we can kill two birds with one stone. That's the concept. Can I suggest that there I'm just saying, would you agree that that is the concept? Right, and they probably should have said it from day one, which they didn't, as you know. They tried to mask it, and it's all about health care. It's never been about health care. I've advocated that. Well, you don't that. think the building of a new hospital, period, is about health care? Bill, the building of a new hospital is nothing that our group has ever been opposed to. I understand that. but Let's, but that let's be part, clear on that. There, we really have two things going on here. You have an economic development project, and you have a consolidation of a hospital and an improvement. There, but they're two separate things. Right, and they've put it together. Yeah, and uh, very, we, we very belie- badly, very, very badly. badly. <laughs> Agree. All right, Brett. Yeah. I I believe that this parking garage headline is political theater. You believe it is? I truly do. I think that they're starting to hear from the public. Nobody wants it downtown for lots of different reasons. Some people that I've talked to don't even con- – I've showed them the map where the hospital is planning to go. They're like, well, I really don't think that's downtown. Downtown's like Genesee Street. That's what we're dealing with. People don't even know downtown. Yeah. I, I will say, in fairness, um, that is your opinion. I've talked to plenty of people that are all in on going downtown. No, there that's are not. those that are against it, and there are those that I would that like are, to talk with them. That are for it. But you and... guys te- seem to be uh, – the people who are against it are cheap metal, and you guys are one big magnet, and you're well, bringing we, them we, in. We, we may be that, Bill, but here's, <laughs> here's what's important to <clears> – <throat> Here's what's important to understand, okay. okay, and why we went forward to form No Hospital Downtown Party. Like 26 months ago. Uh, oh, no, well, that was uh, new. Not the, yeah. Well, the right. party got formed right. officially yesterday. Okay. But the reason Correct. we did it is because as we've traveled not only the city but the county and spoke, spoken to groups. The number one concern everyone has had from day one is we never had a voice. We never had any input. This was done behind closed doors, which we all know it was. And so today, we're happy to reinforce the message we we, uh, brought forth yesterday, which is the community now does have a voice. You can vote for candidates who will oppose this hospital going downtown. Um, We have now given the community an opportunity to vote and weigh in. 
and they should have had that from day one. So how is this going to work? You guys are going to endorse candidates? I don't think anybody's just going to run on that line. Or do you have people just running on the no, that's it, that's their issue? Well, we, we have candidates that will be appearing on other lines, and then we'll also be on the no hospital downtown line, which enables the voter to look down and say, wow, that's a candidate who is going to support So right on the ballot, you're efforts. going to be able to see, okay, I know this person is against the hospital downtown. So okay. This should it be will interesting be, to see. Bill, it it will be right really on the ballot, as you see there. Uh, we had to abbreviate It's such a positive downtown. logo. Um, we know. had to abbreviate downtown. Okay. Um, but DWN. That, will, that will be the ballot part right at the top. Okay. I want to take some calls, uh, and if you want to pipe in here at Jim Brock in studio and Brett Truitt, it is on the hospital downtown uh, project. Um, or Bill, we also no- want to remind people they can join Facebook. We're over. Okay. Uh, we I- exceeded 2,250 yesterday right. of right. members. They can join the No Hospital Downtown Facebook. Uh, they can go to our, our website at www.nohospitaldowntown, where they can receive, by the way, the secret documents. all of the secret documents that were put forth at an illegal meeting that was held by MVHS just a week ago Monday. You can see every one of these documents. I, I, we've addressed that illegal meeting thing, and uh, I guess you say it's illegal. Uh, the county executive says it's not. Uh, uh, Joe Marino says it's not. Um, <laughs> You're county, listening to Joe Marino? The county. Okay. What? Bill, come okay. on now. Uh, come on. The come county. on, Jim. Come on now, Let Bill. me go to Al. Not, Al not in, fighting Joe. Let me go to Al in. <laughs> fighting Joe. No, wow. Bill, I never or hit him. <laughs> Fight me, Joe. Oh, wow. I cannot Bill. believe you are going down this road. Oh, you bad Bill. <laughs> There's a lot. Of, oh, there's a lot no. at stake. There's We're a lot at stake. You might want to move away from him. He's oh lordy. <laughs> Al in uh, Al in Utica. You're on the radio. Good morning. Hey Al. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Al. You're on now. Yeah. Hi. Good morning, Bill. Yep. You're up. What's up? Um, how come nobody's even considered like putting the hospital down in the Broad Street area? There's so many old buildings and factories that are defunct, and there's not many businesses that would be displaced. I don't understand. That's a great area to put it. All right. It's uh, kind of out of the way, though. It is out of the way, and it's way beyond the way. Uh, we uh, At this point, I don't think there's any option to be looking. They're saying there's no option to be looking at any other location other than downtown right now, so um, if they would have you know, their study, that. but if, it might have been, but that might have been an option, I guess, uh, down the road. People have said Marcy. Um, I've heard other things as well, but we're way past that. At we this could point. put it at nanotech. Al, uh, <laughs> oh wow, oh, Jim, maybe are. I'm just getting started. Throwing the bombs, Jim. Wow. <laughs> Three one five seven three six zero one eight six. Bill, Bill, that was one of our first questions. Was can we see the study? Can we right. see the study? They said they found 12 locations that could potentially fit yeah. the hospital. And then they narrowed it down to three. And then it said, oh, it's downtown or St. Luke's. Both unanimously approved. Yeah. The hospital board. So, But they said we can't see that study. They also said that study was done in a 10-mile radius of Utica. So why did they spend time and money to study 10 miles out when yeah. then they're saying, oh, no, it has to be downtown? There's a lot of inconsistencies. Uh, Sergio is an alien. What's your question, Sergio? Good morning. Hi, how you doing? Good. Hey, I used to work right down that way. It was Rocks Tires was the business. So yeah. I know that. Still I, know I know that area. Yep. And I know the police station is a really old building, and they got all kinds of issues there. Yeah. Probably be due. Not a bad idea for them to tear that down and put up a new police station someplace. Mm-hmm. My question is the courthouse. I know years, time flies really fast. I've lost track of how long, but that seems like a relatively new building. Did yes. they build it so you could slap wheels on it and pick it up and move it to another location? That would, well, is that and, supposed and, to be a uh, and, and you say that, that was only had a one decade uh, life expectancy. Uh, and you say that's probably one of the for a while that was the the only new construction you'd have seen for several years. Um, uh, uh, not true. The, uh, the for a while though maintenance garage. Oh, that was new. Is right. even is even newer. So we have of the three buildings, yeah. two that are very new. And by the way, Bill. Uh, the yep. city of Utica taxpayers have, have have not completed payment on that new uh, a police maintenance garage, which, by the way, they are now admitting they intend to take, and fail to say who's going to foot the bill. 
Uh, Sergio, Bill. thank you. Um, Jim, thank you. Uh, <laughs> you're quite entertaining today. <laughs> Sue, you, I said, I'm here all week, Bill. Sue, Be sure uh, to tip your waiters and waitresses. Try the veal. Sue is in Utica. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a question. Uh, we all say St. Luke's campus would be the greatest site, which I agree, but there's been environmental studies. There's a lot of wetlands there, whatever. But these gentlemen seem to think that downtown Utica is coming back. I want to know, can they guarantee me that they have $300 million, like the state's giving us, to invest in downtown Utica to put all these grandiose ideas that Mr. Brock has that downtown's going to be coming back? This is $300 million. Mm -hmm. How can we say no to it? I want to know what Mr. Brock, does he have a client or somebody that can give us $300 million to put a parking garage down there to make downtown Utica the the show place that he claims it's going to be? This is going to bring jobs downtown. It's going to be an anchor, just like Matt's Brewery is an anchor for Varick Street. Right, right. He's talking all these wonderful ideas. Where's the $300, $300 million that he's going to come up all with? Right, thank Sue. you. All right, thank you. And uh, she's saying put your money where your mouth is. So what's the story? Can I be the mouthpiece for Mr. Brock? I don't know if you're going to be able to fill those <laughs> shoes. but <good laughs> well, look, 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 look. Those Yeah, look, yeah. yeah. Um, we are not saying we have grandiose ideas. We are also not asking New York State taxpayers to go $300 million in debt, which it's not a gift from Albany. Everyone in New York is going to pay for it. And then well, – I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm sorry. No, no, I know. I'm I understand absolutely that. okay with that because that money's going somewhere else if we don't take it. And by the way, it's – Paid We're for still people in New York City. It. It's people from Rochester I'm, I'm, all I'm, over. All, I just wanted to versus, be clear. That's not a yeah. pot of money that's just going to be wheelbarrowed into Utica. And right. then the parking garage we're talking about, that is local debt. Oneida County and City of Utica. I own multiple properties in this area. I'm going to be paying two tax bills. So if people could see the financial impact of this whole picture – and that's not what's being discussed. The map that they first showed was 12.5 acres. That was 26 months ago. And now today, we all know that is the map that we showed you. It's a massive area. Yeah. With lots it, of questions. Do you not see, though, that investment? Um, we can do we small can re- projects. The downtown startup, Ryan Miller was yeah. on the show yeah. the other day, and he mentioned that there's going to be four to six or a half dozen businesses started out of that. Only right. one's going to get the $30,000. Well, let's use that's, one of them. Let's that use is, one as an example. The uh, the restaurant uh, concept, yeah. which I think is yeah. awesome. Put by that the way. at Norm Seekin. Put that at Norm Seekin, but, but and it all my, gets filled in. But where is your net gain here? The net gain is if they want to put three hundred million dollars at St. Luke's, yeah. or St. Luke's and Faxton. Faxton's not closing, so they say downtown integrated hospital. That's not one hundred percent true. GM is an integrated company. It has plants all over the world so it's not about locations but this I, is all a yeah. smoke screen if yeah. you looked at the whole picture like only one right. elected official has proposed we do well I, i'd like to get a- mike gleamy to be concrete when he speaks if because we, we could take the 20 minutes that he was on yesterday yep. or the day before and turn that into about a I minute i actually enjoyed his that, show more than the other shows. i didn't though because he no, doesn't say anything no the problem is is this is political th- this is this is a very serious matter. We have a woman it calling is. in and saying, "Jim Brock, where's your grandiose plan?" Right. This is about. But she has a valid point, though. Three hundred million dollars. Mm-hmm. Three hundred million not, dollars is being put up. Yes. Where is the replacement for that, Bill? The, let, let Let's talk about downtown for a you're minute. You're being held hostage. I, I'm, no, I, 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 I'm no, getting to no, a no, point, no. Bill. Honestly, I, I got, I'm at a point now I, I got where some, where people I, seem Jim, to not. Jim, you got to let me. Jim, I know that with those pants, you feel that you can take over. <laughs> but I gotta be able to ask the questions. Let me finish no, I want this. To address the call. Well, let me finish the the point. All right, go ahead, Bill. Three hundred million dollars. How? Where's the? That's there for the taking. How do we walk away from that? Harrisburg got a lot of money to build an incinerator. I don't know anything right? about Harrisburg. Well, I know it's in not? Pennsylvania. Right. Yeah. But do you know what happened to Harrisburg? I it, don't know. They went bankrupt. It was okay. a great plan. Lots of money. Right. It, the city is the But not enough money to cover the project. We can't even pave and our you're streets. you're just starting to see the tip of the iceberg. What? Remember when we were first told it was going to be the $300 million and then the hospital had the rest, everything was going to be great. We kept telling you there were going to be far more costs involved, like the replacement of the facilities that we just talked about. 
the courthouse, potentially the police garage and the police station, and nobody talking about how to pay for it. Now they're holding hostage the citizens of the city and the county saying, you pay for a parking garage for a private entity or we're pulling our money. Their numbers don't add up. They are so short. I talked to someone the other day from Edge, as a matter of fact, who said their numbers show they're two hundred million short. Uh, Off well, the record, we have uh, we have Steve. Yeah, but you have Steve coming, coming up. Oh yeah, I'm sure he'll have any something bombs to say you want to drop there. Can I? Um, oh, we don't yeah, his illegal don't meeting time. that he called. Yeah, we don't have enough time. Can I? Uh, yeah, you'll have to have us back for an hour, Bill. And I'll wear a different color pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get your reaction to something that? We had the folks on from Herkimer County. They said they were work, moving forward on building uh, their, uh, sh- what is it called? Tractor supply or the, no, no, the, the jail? No, no, the jail. The jail, yeah. sorry. For $40 million. <laughs> $40 million was the number they said. And I thought it was interesting that the parking garage was $40 million. Do you have any reaction to that? Well, the, I'm sure uh, you're Herkimer, still against it. But. Well, no, Herkimer has been talking about a jail for at least 10 years. So this, to, yeah, suggest that, to, that. to suggest they're functioning and everything's great in Herkimer, I'd say we have a political problem in upstate New York. I guess the uh, whole state. We all realize it. Yeah. I mean, someone just resigned from the uh, legislature, I think, wrong. downstate. Uh, this, uh, oh, downstate? No, in downstate, okay. over corruption. Okay. Walked away after nine you years. You feel that's what you're charging? That this that's is why I'm corrupt? sitting here next to Jim Brock, because yeah. this is this – is, Mr. Pacente, our county executive, I think he was on the show yesterday, the day before, but Mm -hmm. I listened to his recording, and he says, and I believe it was him that said, well, we can't help all these businesses. They've had two years. They should be making plans. They need to get out of the way. It's not like we can build a new building for them. I take offense to that. I started a small business from nothing, and I employ a few people. They get paid pretty well. I could grow it bigger, but now I'm fighting a hospital. To say that he can't help these biz- these 40 businesses in downtown, but, but, but the- he can build a factory for a company from a foreign country, and then you're going to say bring the Indians and create a casino? These things are absurd to me. The, uh, you, you have a lot there to uh, to address. But yeah, the, we, uh, we, I kind of have to start a radio show, I guess. You might have to, yeah. Uh, yeah. But C-span. certainly not C-span. until after C-span. you're <laughs> off the air. Sure, thank we you, We wouldn't Jim. want to compete with Mornings here, with Bill. Here is Mike in uh, Utica to comment. Go ahead, Mike. You're on the radio. Uh, good morning. Thanks, Bill. Uh, my concern is, uh, is people have been saying, oh, it's $300 million on the table. Uh, you know, let's grab it uh, before somebody else gets it. My question is, what happens to the tax-free square footage within the city limits of Utica. How much is actually taken by tax-exempt situations, and how much is left for the small businessmen to wind up paying? If we take $300 million off the table, that's fine. But how long, in all honesty, are the people that pay taxes in the city of Utica be actually going to pay. All right, I'm gonna, I'll have them uh, comment quickly. Ultimately, we either improve or taxes are ultimately going to rise. There has to be improvement, more jobs, more money, more opportunity in Utica and the region. Otherwise, the restaurants that are popping up, no one's going to go to them because they Bill, won't be able Bill, to afford we, it. We live in one of the poor, Thank co- you, Mike. poor counties in the state right? with the highest sales tax at 8.75%. By the way, a sales tax that we were assured when it was raised to that level was a temporary thing. Now it seems to be a permanent thing. Um, And they want to add more tax burden, not only to our our city uh, citizens and businesses, but to the county as well. I'm going to have you uh, stop right there. We're going to continue on the other side and bring in uh, Steve DeMeo. You're going to the dark side, Bill. The force is strong with us, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. Uh, We got a break.